What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. So finally OnePlus have started rolling out Oxygen OS 13 first open beta for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. Yesterday they rolled out stable build of Oxygen OS 13 for OnePlus 10 Pro and today we got to see the first open beta. So in this video, let's take a look at Oxygen OS 13 first open beta for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 9 on which I've already installed the Oxygen OS 13 open beta 1. If you go to about section, here you can see it says official version. Generally official version do appears when we get stable build or else it used to be beta build and for closed beta we get to see alpha version. Here you can see Android version is Android 13 which comes with 5th August 2022 security patch and if you talk about the version, version is f.08. And guys if you want to install Oxygen OS 13 open beta 1 then you just have to download the files given in the description below then you need to enable developer options from the settings once you have enabled developer option then you can locally install the file just make sure to download the correct zip file from the description below and remove .jar extension from the end and place it inside the internal storage avoid placing it inside any of the folders after that you just have to go to settings about section tap on up to date and from here you can select the local install option installing beta version won't wipe your data but i'll recommend you guys to perform a factory reset once you update to oxygen os 13 for better stability and less bugs and guys before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 82 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video now let's take a look at the benchmark results so with the geekbench application here we have the results and all these results are in high performance mode where you can see single core has scored 1114 and multi core has scored 3244 with antutu benchmark application my oneplus 9 has scored more than my oneplus 10 pro wherein scores are 8,13,416. we also did cpu throttling test and i did not find any kind of throttling issues which we saw on oxygen os 13 stable build for oneplus 10 pro here max cpu throttled up to 94 percent so most of the basic functionalities are working fine for example calling which includes wi-fi calling too but oneplus have mentioned few known bugs on their forum and one of them is you won't get notification if you are getting a call from iphone it's a quite weird thing i haven't tested out i thought we'll be testing directly in the video so here i have my wife's iphone we'll call from this device on my primary number and we'll see whether we get to see a notification or not so i'll just lock the screen first so right now you can see i'm calling from my wife's phone and there are no issues with the notification if i'm getting any call from iphone so personally for me, there are no issues with the notification if I'm getting any call from iPhone. But this is what OnePlus have mentioned in the known issues. And after that, they have also mentioned another issue and that's related to the flashlight. So as per OnePlus, the flashlight notification won't appear on the lock screen if you have turned on. So here you can see we have turned on the flashlight and let me show you guys on the lock screen also, there are no issues. I can see the notification of flashlight. Talking about cameras, so I did click few pictures after updating the device to Oxygen OS 13 Open Beta 1 and I still see the camera is a bit struggling in dynamic range and maintaining white balance. These are the samples which you guys can take a look at. Also let me show you one thing guys, here I have my OnePlus 10 and if you see here with the oxygen os stable build they have removed the auto brightness icon which used to appear towards the right side of brightness slider but that's not the case on beta build here we get to see the auto brightness icon besides the brightness slider but have been removed from the stable build there have been a lot of users who have been waiting for grid size of five applications in the app drawer but i don't know how difficult it is for oneplus to implement that to get five applications in horizontal way most users are using custom launcher and many users have already been giving feedback related to this since oxygen os 12 have arrived so we are not sure whether oneplus will add these five applications in horizontal manner in app drawer one weird issue which i noticed in the gallery application so if you go to settings here and here you can see cloud sync of photos is written in chinese instead of english but as soon you open it here we have english text 
but on the main setting we do have the text in chinese i think these minor things should have been sorted out before releasing the first open beta we get to see the privacy protection where you can remove the location of photo and other stuff like device model aperture shutter speed and more quite a useful feature for privacy stuff and yesterday in my video of oxygen os 13 stable build i did mention a issue which was appearing on my oneplus 10 pro and that was related to the background music playback which wasn't appearing on my oneplus 10 pro but here you can see if you play any video you can enable this feature called background streaming and that will only play the audio in the background and most users have reported without even being prime member of youtube they are able to use this feature this is the new sidebar which you get to see on oxygen os 13 and from here you can open applications in the floating windows and when it comes to floating windows there's another feature so if you go to settings special features flexi window from here you can enable features like share via floating windows so if you have enabled this feature and then you share any stuff from your device if the application is supporting floating windows that thing will appear in floating windows itself so let me show you so here photos application do support floating windows so if i tap on upload to photo you can see the photos application do appear in floating windows i remember this feature was in samsung smartphones since a long time and you can resize the floating windows there are two modes one is mini and standard oneplus have added this media control in the quick setting panel from where you can easily access to the music being played in the background and we also have an option of active application but here you can see the song is being played and it says zero active application so this is a minor bug i guess generally if i'm playing any music that thing do appears in the active applications and from where you can directly stop that application guys most of the features we have already covered of oxygen os 13 i'll leave all the videos in the description below so that if you are looking for any particular feature you guys can check out those videos for always on display we have the support of contextual info where you can get things like music playback on the lock screen tips and food deliveries and many more after that we have a new system clock which updates you about the global warming and how one degree celsius up or down can affect our nature so such useful informations are always welcome we have already covered things like bitmoji advanced canvas aod and other stuff we have kind of similar fingerprint icons and fingerprint unlock and face unlock feature is working perfectly fine also oneplus 9 users have been waiting for this material you theming part or you can say wallpaper color picking so this feature you guys will see on oxygen os 13 along with this we also have a feature called themed icon basically it's similar to themed icon that can be found in the icon section go to custom if you scroll down here you can see we have an option called match wallpaper color so if you enable this all the applications will adapt to the wallpaper color but as I have been saying in all my videos, not every application is being supported. And if we enable this feature, the UI looks quite weird. And I won't be using this feature until we have the support of all applications under this specific feature. We have the shadow reflective clock in the clock application. And now we have different gestures to stop the alarm clock. And at last now let's also talk about the gaming part because this is one place where most users ask me a lot of questions about. So if you are into Battlegrounds Mobile India, so again sad life still continues under graphic settings. We do have the support of smooth and 90 FPS but if you see the system status we only get the support of 60 FPS. And I'll update you guys about the gaming performance in a review video. Within 3-4 days I'll come up with an in-depth review wherein I'll tell you everything for example gaming stuff, battery backup, charging speed and many more. So guys this was a quick look on Oxygen os 13 first beta build for oneplus 9 and 9 pro i'm not going through all the features because i've already made a lot of videos on oxygen os 13 i'll leave them in the description below you guys can check them out so guys as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys are gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day